Uh, you ready for a show now? Woo! All right. Uh, the gentleman that's about to come back out here, uh, he is only 22 years old. Oh, wow. Um, but he's already pre performed alongside David Copperfield and oh, wow. Neil Patrick Harris. Wow. Uh, he's also the youngest magician to have fooled Penn and Teller on their hit show, Fool Us Folks. So that's awesome. Oh, wow. And uh, last spring, uh, he graduated from UC Berkeley. He has since moved down to LA so he can be here at the Magic Castle. Uh, so put your hands together for Sanjeev Vinod. Hello. Hello. My name is Sanjeev, and I will be your server today. <laughs> this show is served a la carte, and this is going to be the menu. So. Each course of the show will arrive as a choice of two options. Two options, but you can only choose one. The item you choose is going to come with a story, a history, some magic. Whoa. Whoa. The item you don't choose will be sent right back to the kitchen. <laughs> Go. Are we ready to get started? Yeah! Are we ready to get started? Yeah. I present your first course. It's an appetizer. We have a pair of mystery pouches. One pouch is red and one pouch is black. Now take a few seconds and make a mental choice. Which one you would pick? Which one you're more curious about? The person who's going to make this choice for all of us will be... <laughs> I'm Sanjeev. Wilfred. Wilfred? Yes. Nice to meet you, Wilfred. Thank you for being part of the show. <laughs> Wilfred, you're going to be making this choice for all of us. Would you like the red pouch or the black pouch? I'll take the red. Yes! The red pouch. Wilfred, your choice is served and... Love your help with this. Could you join me down here, please? Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. Please take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Wolfred. Good job, Will. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, I already love you. I'm glad you picked this one, too. Inside, this is one of my lucky charms. This is a dice, a die, with only five sides instead of six. Yeah. It's not very easy to find. They're shaped in this really strange way just so it still rolls evenly. Wilfred, this is for you. We also need a deck of playing cards. 52 different cards. I'll spread this way so you can see. 52 different cards, 52 different outcomes, ways for this to go. Could you help me with this, please? Sure. Just from where you're sitting. Okay. I'm going to drop cards like this, one hand to the other. Somewhere in the middle, just say the word stop. Okay. Stop. Right there? Yeah. We have the Two of Spades. The Two of Spades is going to be the die's target card. I'll give us a shuffle, a cut, so we don't know exactly where the two is. And in a moment, I'm going to split this deck into a few piles. A few piles. The first one's going to be exactly two, four, six, eight, ten cards. The second one also exactly two. Or, or you can pick. Um, <laughs> uh, what number of cards would you like? Seven. Seven. Perfect. Two. Six, eight, ten. Cards. <laughs> no, um, oh, maybe someone else. Um, can you pick a number between eight and twelve? How many of you like? Nine. Nine. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten. And Wilfred, the final choice is yours. How many cards would you like? Ten. Ten is perfect. Ten is perfect. Two cards left, no two of spades, so we're good to go. Now, the reason we need exactly five piles of exactly ten cards each is because in a moment, we're going to roll that die, and it's going to point us to one of the piles, one to five. Eliminate all the other cards. That pile gets split in five, we roll again, eliminate over and over and over until we're down to just one card, and that card will be your two of spades. <laughs> Wilfred, you're in charge of the die. Could you shake it and give us a roll, please? The crabs. It's like crabs, right? It's like crabs. We have the number five. You can count like two different ways. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Wilfred, which way do you want to come? That way. So this is number one, yes. two, three, four, five. The choice is made. Wilfred, could you tell everyone, do you see a two of spades anywhere here? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wilfred, I'm going to give that back to you. We have one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's good. Wilfred, one more time, could you shake and give us a roll? And this time, we have a number four. And you still want to count from that side? Yes. Or do you want no, to no, switch the way you count mid trick? <laughs> Same side? This is one, two, three, four. More cards eliminated. <laughs> no, I almost panicked because of that one. But yeah, yeah, no? No two spades? No. No two spades, we are good to keep going. <laughs> the three of spades is <laughs> Which means we are down to two final cards. Two cards, five sides of the die. That does not work. So instead, Wilfred, I'm going to line these up for you. Could you roll this die just down the middle of the two cards? And we'll see which way the die goes, which card the die chooses. That makes sense? Yeah? Sure. Wilfred, shake and give it a roll. Okay, is that where you were aiming? That's not an early release or anything? That's the one you were <laughs> Is that this one? Yes, that's it. Okay. Think about it. Every single step could have been different. Right? Maybe you rolled a three in the beginning. Or maybe you said we should count from this side instead of the other side. Or this die just rolled a few inches that way, we'd have a completely different card. But die's target was the two of spades. And Wilfred, you found exactly the two of yeah. seven. Yeah. Give Wilfred a huge round of applause. Now that we have been sufficiently appetized, the next course is an interesting one. It's called a palate cleanser course. So at a restaurant, this would be maybe a soup, maybe a salad. It's a refresher before we get to the main course of the night. So, this next course is going to be a one minute break from magic. One minute with no magic at all. Neither of these is a magic trick. It's more like two, two riddles that hide a surprise. We have a dollar bill that has three screws and three nuts. Pretty cool. It's ridiculous. <laughs> We have what looks like a very easy Rubik's Cube. It's not. This is a Yoshimoto Puzzle Cube, also called the Euclidean Star Cube. One more time, make that mental choice of which one you would pick, which one you prefer. And the person who's going to make this choice for all of us will be... I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to make it together? Sure. I was looking at one of you. Oh, you can make the choice together. That works. Taylor? What are your names? I'm Sanjeev. I'm Taylor. Taylor? Christine. Taylor and Christine. Yes. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Part of the show. Taylor and Christine, you're going to be making this choice for all of us. Would you like... You have to say it at the same time. Yeah? No, you can't <laughs> discuss beforehand. Would you like the bill or the cube? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Wait, one, two, three. The money. Wow. Taylor and Christine, your choice is served, along with a round of applause. Thank you very much. First of all, what an interesting way to store a dollar bill. This dollar bill has three holes in it. That's why there's these three screws going through. Each is fastened by one of these nuts. That's number one. That is number two. I want you to see this is coming right off of each of these bolts. And those bolts are going right through the holes in that bill. That's the part that makes sense. <laughs> now for the surprise. If you look through those gaps, you can see a little glint of silver in there. A little silver showing off the light. A bill with three holes, three bolts makes perfect sense. What doesn't make sense is how the space where those bolts were, that's exactly where I keep my chain. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. That is three quarters, and that is the bill puzzle for you. No way. Oh, thank you. I'm going to rename this yeah. the money for every <laughs> <The> money. <laughs> <laughs> 
Show me the money. <laughs> Taylor and Christine, palate cleansed? Yes. Yes, very much. In that case, we're ready to move to the main course of the night. Yes. yes. We have a pair of red cups connected by a string. And we have a mystery Monty envelope. It's an envelope that holds Monty cards. One final time, make that mental choice. Which one you would pick, which one you're more curious about. Now, because every single show is different, this is usually the point of the show where I ask, has someone come for the second time, the third time? There's always some returners to see the show. And I know for a fact there are some people in this audience who've seen some of this stuff before. Right at you, Brian. You've seen some of this stuff before? Yeah. Of these two items, which one was in the last show you saw? The cups. The cups? The cups yeah. So you've seen the cups. Seen that. Would you like to see the envelope? Yeah. You'd like to see the envelope. Yeah. If that's okay with everyone. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. awesome. It's okay with everyone? Yeah! Woo, woo, Brian, woo. your choice is served along with a round of applause. Woo. Brian, this is actually the only item in the show that's on our kids' menu. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on brand, you know. <laughs> No, it's just a kid's game. It's very simple. Kid's game means it's impossible to lose. We have just a few pieces of card. It's like index cards. And on these, we're going to draw some shapes, some simple shapes. So the first shape is going to be a big X. Can you see that? Does that show up in the light? Yeah? yeah. The second one is also going to be X. The final one's going to be a little different. It's going to be the odd shape. So, a little exclamation point. <laughs> it's going to be the odd shape. And you know it's the odd shape because it looks different from the other two. Object of the game is very simple. You just have to follow the odd shape around. Now, if we mix these cards face down, Facing this way, it would get a little confusing. They all look the exact same on the back. So to keep it simple, practice round, all of them face up. And I only use two of them. We would not consider one card for now. Mix, 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 yeah. Very simple practice round. Where is the odd shape? Just call it out. This hand, perfect. Game starts very simple, and then it's going to get a little more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I love it. Oh. One more time. Because last time I think I put this X down, I, I wasn't supposed to. That was my mistake. You're supposed to put this X down. That'll help. That'll help. Usually people get the practice on the first try, so this time let's keep it very, very simple. I'll just keep this face up. Where's the odd shape? And we'll get to the action. Mm -hmm. And you know it's the odd shape because it looks different from the other two, so it's very <laughs> <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> we'll go from the beginning because at first I drew one X. I had an X and then I drew an exclamation point. Brian, do you prefer the exclamation point or do you prefer the X? The X. You prefer the X? Yeah. Okay, good. So we'll have another X. I like that choice. It'll make it very simple, very easy to follow. And I think I see the issue. So my hands are moving very fast. And there's some sneaky stuff going on. <laughs> Make it very clear. I'm going to isolate the money card in the envelope. Middle, middle one X next to you. One yeah, X next to the Taylor Christine side. Okay. <laughs> no, it's yeah, it's okay. It's <laughs> I'm gonna close the audience. Brian, yeah. final round. <laughs> Brian, where is the odd shape? <laughs> um. Okay, if I'm not tripping, it's in the envelope. Brian, you are in fact. Shut exactly correct. It's in here, don't worry, because down here obviously we have an X. Down here we have an over. What? Over. 
No. <laughs> nope. Nope. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Now, we've seen an appetizer, we've seen a palate cleanser, we've seen a main course, but every meal ends with the check. <laughs> check. It's not really a choice. You know, it's not like the other courses. It's more like a culmination of every choice we've made so far. So, let's recap our order. Just now, Brian, you made choice number three. That was between the Monty and the cups, right? And you yep. wanted the Monty. That is yes. M O T. <laughs> Before that was choice number two. That was between the Bill and the puzzle cube. And Taylor and Christine, you wanted the Bill. Before that was choice number one. No. That was between the red key, the red pouch and the black pouch, and we had Wilfred. You wanted the red pouch. Yes. R E D. And each of those choices brings us right to a credit card. <laughs> hey, for the you know what's a credit card? It says the word credit. credit. <laughs> but for payment, we might need something a bit more um, functional. So that is it. What? Meaning, we only need one thing to close the show. Have to pay. Um, processing. <laughs> processing. Processing. Approve. There's your receipt. <gasps> That's the show. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have an amazing rest of your night. Yeah. Every time. It blows my mind. What oh the fuck? Oh my god. god.